it is September 29th. It's Thursday and we are heading out to a thrift store. Actually, there's a couple thrift stores. Salvation Army. Yeah, we're heading to um, a town that's about 35, 40 minutes from here. And um, we are hoping to be able to check off our thrift a cozy sweater bucket list thing. <laughs> so I don't know. We may not have any luck. We may not have luck. I feel like we will though. We usually you? have luck at Salvation Army. That's it's true. Really cheap. Salvation Ar the Salvation Army in this particular town is really, really reasonable. And they color coordinate everything. I love color coordinating. My so whole closet is color coordinating. They not only color, they also categorize. Yeah, like short sleeves, sweaters, long sleeves, turtlenecks. Yeah. And then within that categorization system, then they color code everything. Mm -hmm. So, like me, I am on the, I really want a big, cozy white sweater. I don't know if I'll find it, but that's the section I'm going to go to first. And then I also need to find a frame. For a cross stitch project I finished a couple of weeks ago which I will show later because I don't have it with me right this minute and so I'm gonna take that with me because it's it's like a weird shape so I need I have had a hard time finding a new um, frame so I'm hoping I can find something today while we're out so my sister and my niece are actually gonna be going with us I don't know if they'll want to be in the vlog so I guess we will have to see about that did you thrift this no. Anna. Oh, I'm surprised. I think most of what I own is thrifted, <laughs> except for jeans. I always buy my jeans new because yeah. I have long legs and I, I have to order long jeans. But no, actually, Anne Ashley gave this to me. So it's not, I didn't buy okay. this. I didn't buy it actually. It's still secondhand. It is secondhand, yeah. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're off. Girls in the back. I'm driving, and my sister's next to me. One of my sisters. And my middle sister. I'm the oldest. I have two younger sisters. Okay, so me and Ellie found the ugliest shoes ever. There's like so many things in here from Zara. They're all like really overpriced, but the shoes are so ugly. Yeah. Okay, so first off, we have what we're calling the spatula shoes. So look at these. Okay, right here, we have the cake spatulas, super pointy. Like I could stab Ellie. No. And then these ones, whew, those are just, those are adorable. <laughs> we're just calling this a normal spatula. Cause yeah. Literally look like a spatula. They're so ugly. Or a frog's feet. What do yeah. you guys think?
We thrifted. I found stuff, but not a sweater. Lily didn't find a sweater. Nope. Nope. No uh, we got some coffee and walked through town and went into a couple of shops. Now we're going to head to TJ Maxx. Just for something to do. Friday, September 30th, the last day of September. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Um, I just got home actually. Lily and I had a very busy morning. We had to go to Children's Hospital again um, because her one incision still has not healed. It was starting to look better. And then two weeks ago, it got all funny again. So we went this morning and the doctor, the surgeon that we saw, cauterized it. And he said, hopefully in a week, it'll be better. And if not, we need to go back. I just want to show you just a few of the things that I got yesterday at the thrift store. Lily didn't find anything. I didn't find a cozy sweater. Um, there was nothing. I have something very particular in mind. So that's probably part of the problem. I did get a couple of other shirts yesterday. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to show you probably my favorite find of the trip was this handmade pottery. It's like a single cup, single serve um, teapot. Nice because I don't think you can see that, but oh yeah, there you go. So the artist that made this actually put um, holes, like straining holes across the spout opening here so that I can just put my loose leaf tea into the pot, pour the water on, let it steep in there, and then pour out and it'll strain it. So that was just awesome. But oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. It was $2.99 and it's so clean inside. It doesn't look like it was ever used, which it's just so strange. I don't understand why anybody would want to get rid of this. So I brought it home, it already got washed and now I'm gonna be able to use it. Okay, and then, um, I, like I said, I did buy a couple of shirts, but they're already in the washing machine being washed as we speak. But I found a bunch of Jan Karen, but it's the um, Mitford series. And um, I've never read these before. I've heard of people reading them. And I think it's a pretty long series. I have the, I have the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then eighth. So I'm missing the seventh. But they just looked like cozy reads for the fall and winter. And this is the time of year that I just really, really want to read. I'm, in fact, I've been flying through books lately. So normally I have the Kindle app on my phone and I will just get under the covers and read my books that way. So I have Kindle books and then I also have books that I get from the library or a lot of my books I pick up at the thrift stores when I'm out because these were all 99 cents each. This one actually takes place, the first one in the series actually takes place at least partially in the fall. So that'll be a good one to start. I love reading on my Kindle because it's so convenient and I can pull my phone out while I'm out waiting or, you know, at appointments or whatever, and I can read at night, but I much prefer to read an actual book. Like, I like the feel of the book in my hand and the paper and all that. But anyway, so that is what I got. Um, I'm actually, my brother-in-law got me this mug because I love Charlie Brown. I love it. I love Charlie Brown. And, um, he got this for me, I think a couple of months ago, which was really sweet of him. But I'm actually drinking some more, I'm having a half-calf latte 
because I have, uh, so I am most energetic in the morning. And as the day goes on, I lose the energy, I lose the, the motivation, the ambition, whatever. I, I have stuff I need to do because I was gone all morning. So I thought I'm gonna treat myself to a latte, half caffeinated, half decaf. And then I'm going, and I'm going to sit here and finish the Night Circus book. And then after that, I'm going to get to it and get my, my chores done for the day. So that is my plan for the rest of the day. I have a couple of wreaths for fall. I haven't even put them out yet. I put all my pumpkins and, and mums out, what, two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, um, whenever I did my last vlog and I haven't put my wreaths out yet. In fact, I still have my summer wreath on my one door and I'm like, that is just ridiculous, Amber. I'm mixing the seasons. But um, it's definitely fall. The leaves are changing. It's been very chilly here, like low 50s. Um, it's actually, this has been a really cool and a very damp fall. So definitely not my favorite weather. But yesterday was beautiful. So that's why we got out and did some things yesterday and had some fun. And it was, um, we had a really good time. But I'm going to go ahead and go. So um, thanks for hanging in and listening to me. I kind of like to just get on. I like to show you guys snippets of the day, but I also enjoy just talking to you as well. Um, so, yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to read, drink my latte, and then hopefully have some energy to do the rest of my jobs for today. <laughs> So I did a, I made a round of kombucha, um, bottled this past week's fermentation and then started a fresh batch. And now I am going to work on my fall wreaths. So I have two and they're very late summerish. Um, so basically last year my oldest son got married here at our home and I had bought some sunflowers just to use as decor because that was their flower. That was um, my daughter-in-law's flower that she chose to have in her wedding. And when we were done using them for the wedding, I thought, well, I'm going to use them at home. So I took my wreaths that had been in sorry shape because they had not been like re fixed or replenished for years and years. And I just kind of added, so they're very very yellow. I honestly tend to go with more natural things. Like whenever I do my um, Christmas wreaths, I just go out and snip pine and boxwood and holly and I stick that into my uh, fake evergreen base bases. But I don't really have a lot of fall material that would hold up to the wind on the hill. Um, so I'm just using the artificial. But I... I was at the Dollar Tree last week or the week prior and I found some red. Oh, that is so bright on camera. It's not that bright in real life. It's it's more of a crimson in real life. And then I found these little, like, I don't need berries. They're supposed to be berries, but styrofoam, they're styrofoam. And I thought I would try to incorporate some red into the yellow. I don't know. 
We'll see how it goes. If it doesn't work, I literally spent $5 on this and I will use it eventually somewhere. So let's see what I can do. Yesterday, when I was at the thrift store, I forgot that I had actually found a frame to put my completed cross stitch in. So when I was at Goodwill yesterday, I actually found a framed print that um, I was able to rip off the back, like the paper backing on it, and it was super easy to replace the print with my cross stitch project. So I was so excited about that. Um, it looks great. And I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna paint the frame because um, I think it goes really well with the mushroom autumn theme of my cross stitch. Isn't it cute? I think it turned out great. Yeah, and this was super easy to. Sometimes you don't know what's behind the paper backing of a frame, but it was just um, those little staples, and I just used a flathead screwdriver to pull them up and then to tighten them back down and it fit in perfectly. It's just, it's exactly what I imagined. So it's in our entryway and I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. And this is, this was my first cross stitch project in a very long time. Like I'm talking like, I think I started one maybe three years ago and didn't get very far and finished it. Cause I just, it was words and I was just like, eh. But this was so cute and I actually picked this one up at a gift shop in Berkeley Springs when we were on our girls weekend. And it was easy and it was enjoyable and I love mushrooms, so it was just perfect. So I'm super happy with that, how that turned out. I love when a project comes to fruition in the way that I was thinking it should. <laughs> So I'm not quite sure if I like that because it's a lot brighter than everything else that's there and I also feel like it doesn't hang as low and this space underneath looks too empty. So, but what I'm going to do, and this is what I often do, is I just kind of let it stay and I just stare at it for a couple of days and I decide if I like it or not. And if I don't hang it here, I don't really have any other places that I can hang it, but I just, I found this in a thrift store probably six years ago, and it's just so cute and whimsical. You got the little groundhog or gopher or whatever it is, and that's squirrel, which I love squirrels, and a blue jay, and yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's just very whimsical to me. So I'm not really feeling it in this area. It feels a little too bright and whimsical for this area. But I'm gonna let it stay and I'm gonna see if it grows on me. And if not, then I will switch it out and maybe I won't even put it out this year. 